Josh! Uh, I'm sorry, it's been a while. I'm excited to see you. Wow. Uh, hi. This is amazing. Hi. Hello. You look so cute. Look at you. So, Josh, it's been a long time, but uh, we are here to do some military ticky talk. Yes! If there's one thing that I know, it's military and guns. Being an Australian, Hell yeah. I sure <laughs> do know a lot about them. Like, for instance, your shirt, I notice, has all of the different size gun bullets. Uh, you've got the big one. Yep. Uh, well, you got the small one. Oh, sorry. You got the... All right, we're not. We're out of sync here. I, I know uh, it's kind of flipped uh, reverse for you, but uh, it says size matters. Oh, no, I see it. I see it the right way around. I don't like the way you're looking at me. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I don't like that. I need you to stop immediately. Uh, I am about to... Oh, anyway. Okay. So, we're, yeah, we're just going to react to some funny, some funny little military TikTokies. And if you got any questions, you know I'll answer them. Life as an armorer. Part one. What's an armorer? <laughs> that was quick. Usually an armorer <laughs> is uh, the guy that takes care of all of the weapons and all of the attachments and stuff like that. So like, we'll go shoot, we'll bring our weapons back, we'll clean them, and then hand them to him. Oh, if he's okay. cool, he'll just take them. Yeah. If he's a dick, he'll be like, not clean. And just throw them back at you. Right. And make you stay late. Right. Like an ass. Mm. Here we go. 312, 313, 314, 315, 316, 317, 318, 319, 320. Yep. Whoa. 321, 322. Bro, Sergeant. Can you get the second count done? Yes, Sergeant, I am. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Three. Fuck! Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't need to know about military to know what happened there. Dude, fuck this count up. First of all, I don't know what that is. They look like they've just put like a suit on a mentally challenged person in this shot here in particular. He's got the spastic no, mo, no. you know, they have, like the spastic they have yeah, a little yeah. mo there. It's like poorly grown and stuff. It's got the long <laughs> sleeves. He's got like the um the like the shrimp, he's happy. the shrimp posture. Yeah, he's smiling. I'm actually I'm kind of hoping that there's like a like a cute lady drill sergeant who like maybe wants like go get a drink, get a oh. latte. Um, nice. do some, like pedicure stuff. Maybe like, some yoga. Yeah. 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 Oh shit! What is that on your face? You a whole goddamn pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad she called out the mustache. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, here we go. Great military insults. Who the hell do you think you are pissing on my squad car? You think you can break our rules and just walk away? We're supposed to wet our pants over your dress blues and your goddamn colored ribbons. Why don't you read that file here sometime, hero? Check the dates. It's ancient fucking history. You know, one of these Saturday nights, you're gonna be puking blood in some alley. You're gonna look up, you're gonna see me standing there. Then we'll see. Keep dreaming, shitball. You're gonna pay full price, Rummy. I don't give any fucking serviceman's discount. Too bad your old lady does. <laughs> <laughs> My dad used to have the exact same conversation with me every birthday. Just like that? Yeah broken inside i i mean if you want father's day is coming up I'll, I'll get you something nice man thank you i need a daddy yeah i don't know why that sounded I'll... weird let's go to the next video <laughs> it's getting strange oh my god how the f are they what is it this is okay whatever minions minions military let's do it allow me to show you what is good and what is bad Luca. Bueno. yeah yay Ooh. no yeah! Yeah! Uh, uh, yeah! yeah! <laughs> it's pretty much like real life. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh no. Oh, my poor LT. Oh, my heart. What? All right, I'll explain this. I'll explain this after we watch it. Okay. Ready? Me is straight. North to me is wherever I'm going straight. That's where it throws me off. So you think north is just straight. Or and, up. And you think... West is left. Never eat shredded wheat, yes. <laughs> I can't understand why we have north, east, south, west when we have left, right, up, down. What is the point? What is the that point? That dude's chin. First of all, incredible. yes, can cut diamonds. Yeah. Lieutenants are people who like essentially just graduated college. They are notorious at getting lost in the woods or any kind of land navigation. Right. They don't know how to read a map. They say they do. They never do. We always lose them for about an hour. And then we have to go look for them. And there's the saying that is you can't spell lost without LT. So you, essentially the military is just getting college kids and setting them loose in the forest. Oh my God. Yeah. No, that's, oh. You, you're going to have me thinking about that. 
This dude looks like a Family Guy character. Bro, Quagmire be jealous of that. The crimson chin himself is quaking in his red booties. That's where Ashton Kutcher got his jaw implants from. They just carved off of that dude when he was sleeping. <laughs> Being in the military is wild. This makes me feel uncomfortable. What are they doing with this? No, here? it's fine. Is there a bug in there? If there's a bug in there, I'm out. No. If there's a no, bug in no, there, you're no out. No, 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 no. It's probably got a lot of, uh, like, pus or something like that. Uh, anyway, time people are dropping stuff like that in someone's ear, especially with gloves. If something comes out, I'm out. I'm telling you. He's probably got earwax, man. Yeah, pull it out. Earwax. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> this is like the biggest reason I have to not join the American military so far. Spiders. Spiders. Spiders crawling in your ear, making, making little love children in your in your in your lobes. You're not making that any easier. You're actually making it worse. Oh come on, Josh. Come on. At least it's not like the Australian spiders. They'll like they'll set up a condo inside your ear. Too well, well, I was about to say, the Australian spiders wouldn't fit in the ear. They have to chew the, they most would, of the ear off, actually, to get inside. Yeah, most most of it. Yeah, oh, 100%. <laughs> when washing the trucks goes terribly wrong. All right. First of all, I didn't know that that long ponytail was regulation anymore. That's crazy. When the trucks goes terribly wrong. Oh, shit. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> How high powered is that? <laughs> oh, first of all, what a shot. Yeah, I've been in that position many times. Yeah. God, there's nothing like having a girl who says they can handle it, and then obviously they can't, can't handle, handle your hose. can't handle the hose. They get it everywhere. The truck, the cameraman. The floor, the somehow the ceiling. Just learn how to control hoses better. Come on, everyone. Use both hands. Your body. Sometimes your thighs. And put that ponytail away. Or put it in my hand, anyway. Don't, don't shoot. Okay. <gasps> it's a part two. Ooh, we love sequels. Ooh, Except for part two of an- oh. That didn't need to happen. Yeah, yeah, that, I'm, yeah. Do better. They armor a part two. Yup. Look at that ridiculous little window. Hey, yo, armor. <laughs> what is that, a drive through <laughs> yeah. window? Yeah. You can even fit a KFC bucket through that thing. <laughs> You can only fit the weapon through, that's it. What? That's all it is. What a ridiculous little window. <laughs> they have their own little window. Look, just because it's a small opening doesn't mean that you can't have fun with it, though. That's true. That's true. A lot of fun things go in and out of that. Yes. What? Hey, yeah, I'm coming back from duty. I'm here to turn in my rifle. Mm. All right, um, just follow the procedures, bring it in. Visually inspect it. Muzzle out. What the f <laughs> All right. Muzzle that way. Ah. Yup. Ready? Clean, right? Go back and fucking clean it. <laughs> Are you shooting me? I didn't even fucking shot this thing. Is that pretty accurate? He's 100% accurate. Really? That is, yeah, because you don't want, uh, heaven forbid, heaven forbid, rules exist for a reason. I guarantee at some point there was somebody who forgot that there was a round in the chamber and was just, here's my weapon, and probably freaking indeed. So all, that's why obviously you always point it. Normally you don't ever point your, you know, your barrel at somebody. Mm. That's bad. But in this scenario... It's unloaded, you won't do yeah. that. It's the armor of, but, like, window, you know what I mean? Soldiers? Yeah. It's not like an Iraq family home. You don't just go pointing <laughs> barrels and windows and waving them around in there. Come on, guys. You don't just, you don't just kick the door down and scream, where's your oil, yeah. all right? That's, come on now. <laughs> Stop come being silly. On. Figure, figure it out. Are you saying that, like, if, uh, if some military was attacking my house and they came around to my bedroom window and stuck their gun through, if I just put my finger in there and said, uh, it's not... It's not clean. Take it back. They would just reflexively grab it and run away. Dude, honestly, there would probably at least be one person that would be like, what? Oh, shit. You're right. It's not clean. My bad. Sorry. I remember that. <laughs> I'm having a standoff next week, so it's going to work out well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Just, just Americans come raid in your home, Josh. Just be like, hey, no. Yeah, it's called Waco <laughs> Fest. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> shit.
I saw, so I've seen this one. This would be the greatest job. Look at how much fun this man's having. Welcome to basic. Yeet. Oh, what the f Welcome, everyone. Yeet. <laughs> All right, next person. How are you, brother? Ah, I wouldn't do that to you. Uh, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this dude's turned bullying into a career. This is exactly what Elon Musk does to his employees at Christmas. I'd imagine it's something like, <laughs> I love being a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> nightmare, nightmare. I'm a meme lord. <laughs> <laughs> you, Terry. What military is this? Vietnam? Um, I don't know, actually. What military is that? Let me look at the patch. Someone find out that, that I mean, I know it's grainy. That kind of looks like a, like a freaking anime patch. But then like, look at this. Everyone's just laughing. He's <laughs> having a great time. Give him a bus. He's like, uh, go ahead, boss. Yeah, go ahead. Blah. Oh, that one looked painful though. You know? Yeah, my man's like, I've made a terrible mistake. Oh, Marines. Oh, love these guys. These are the, these are the knuckle draggers, the, the super, uh, we can do anything we want, but we're not very smart. Um, right. Oh, okay. Hey, 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 hey. Why are they using chocolate guns? Is it Easter? <laughs> Those are pra just practice guns. Ah. Those are usually what you use, like, when you learn about, uh, number one, how to hold them, but then also if they go through, uh, like, self-defense classes. Uh, okay. So if you like want to, like, how to, dis how to disarm and, yeah. Yeah, I know close quarters. Well, they, they just found the mother load, though. <laughs> They're just being yeah. stupid. But that's what, so they're having Mexican standoff constantly. Are they fun, those little plastic guns? Those plastic, oh, yeah. those plastic guns are actually what police use here. They don't pew pew. They just... No, those, they literally just have, like, the chocolate plastic guns. Just to look threatening. Just now, pardon this, because it might be a Australian stereotype. Do they boomerang the pistols? And then, did, does it come back? Only the Aboriginal police do. The white mm. ones never throw them like that. They need to step it up in these streets. There's something deeply wrong with my country. Yeah. So this next one, our military's a joke. Oh boy. Grenade? Oh my god. Okay. Pull the pin. There you go. Now throw it. Frag out. Frag out. What the f was that? Was she pulling a pin or peeling a f potato? And we didn't have this f super high wall bunker shit either. What is that? Why are they getting all the good shit? We had four pieces of wood stacked on top of each other and then we had to like lay out like as soon as we throw it lay down or we or we die dude becoming a classic veteran military dad yeah back in my day yeah back in my day was so much harder we had yeah. to craft our own beds from rabbit pelts <laughs> and wood and we had to grow the trees for the wood and we'll stay out there and and, and wait till they grew is his name he speed god damn it oh my god if that's his real last name, that's amazing. That's usually something that we would call, be like, uh, when you want to grab somebody's attention. Like if someone's doing something kind of f***ed up, you just be like, Hey, high speed! What are you doing? Uh, what? Well, not, nothing, Sergeant. Nothing. Nothing, sorry. This is, this is now offensive. We no, the f*** it's not. Oh, you don't even know what he's saying? No, it's not. What's offensive? What he's doing is called knife hand. Uh, okay. Like if someone's really getting your shit, like Rugga -ga -ga, Rugga -ga -ga, Rugga -ga -ga, stop chewing all the chocolate pistols, sort of thing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Stop eating the ammunition. Now offensive. We can no longer use the knife hand. We have to wait. This is this is offensive. That's a, yeah. It, what is this? What is this supposed to be? It's well, I'm like the airbender with this. You're gonna <laughs> take away my power. It's, it's pointing with disrespect. So what we're gonna do is the pinky pointer. No more knife hand, it is now the pinky pointer. What? How am I supposed to be Hold up, hold up, hold up. Like this? Does it not seem ironic to anyone else? A institution that is basically entirely built around defending and basically shooting as many people in the face as efficiently and quickly as possible is worried about offending people with, with hand movements. But thank you. Is that not the least offensive thing that they probably are trained to Dude, do? Dude, I don't get it. I feel, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills here, is it? This is his fault somehow, I know it. 
God damn. It. I'm, I'm going to blame Twitter on this. Like this. That looks How silly. is this? Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's less offensive. You could try it, you know, it, it, if your soldiers keep messing up, maybe use another finger. I can do the pointer. No, no, no. no. Pointer is just as aggressive sometimes. Humongous, humongously disrespectful. The pointers? Yep. Uh, pointer is just as disrespectful as the knife hand, so we're no longer allowed to point. You gotta use your pinky because it's, it's uh, culturally appropriate these days. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Is I it? know this is a joke. Oh, I, was I say, know this is a joke. But I could actually but see that happening. The way the I can actually is. see that happening, and that, honest to God, makes me scared for our military. Jackie Chan didn't invent the karate chop just for you guys to replace it with a pinky point. Ooh, first sergeant. All right, what do we got? That they have an adequate amount of sleep as well. So we're going to make sure that they get a full nine hours. Blocked. Nine hours? Continuous? It used to be four. It's yeah! Like double plus one of the hours! Who's supposed to pull fire guard? Who's doing the math here? The VA? Is the VA stepping in on the no. fucking basic training Bruh. regulations? Take it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait. Maybe this isn't... Maybe they're not doing skits. What, is this a thing that's just come in or something? Are you just discovering Maybe. This? Legally, they're only supposed to give you four hours of sleep. And there's nothing in there that says it has to be continuous. So they can get... They can be like... Rest for an hour, get back up. Rest for another hour, like three hours later, get back up. So they can make you do four hours over the entire 24 hour period. Oh yeah. It's basically training you to be YouTubers. Essentially. No wonder you're Essential. such a good YouTuber. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, no wonder my transition was so smooth. Yeah, you've already been trained on like <laughs> low sleep, high stress situations. <laughs> being abused and insulted constantly. That's pretty much a YouTuber. Army says soldiers entitled to seven hours shut eye per, per night. No way. Wow. You're literally going to be that veteran who's like, back in my day, we used I'm, to do I'm already so there, much more dude. difficult. Somebody on Twitter actually said it better, best, Josh. They said I am essentially now a dad without a kid. I'm complaining about the youth, complaining about my past. I'm really into lawn care right now. You've already got, you've been doing the dad jokes for like, ever. So Years. You already got that. Is that Elon Musk in a military... <laughs> Headset? Is that like a, that's like a level four helmet from um, PUBG. Truth be told, Josh, they're really great pillows. What, the beer cans? No, the, the helmet. Oh. Yeah. Having it on your head so long, event, like you could I, you lay down on rocks anywhere and go, all right, take five. You just go. Nice. Waking up on Monday morning. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, no. No, wait, wait, it's night, it's not nighttime. <laughs> no, it's not nighttime. No, 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 no. You better wake up, Battle. Oh, you're done. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm assuming that waking up late is uh, pretty bad in the military. Yeah. Yeah, uh, because every morning, all of us will meet at troop and they will take accountability, just like school, like they'll, they'll mark off who's here and who isn't. Mm. And if for some reason you're not there, they need like written reasons why you're not there, uh, like full receipts, everything. Do they come and search for you and stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you ever like been woken up by people being like, where the fuck are you? Really? Is it like the sergeant? I only did it once and once enough. It, dude, once is enough. <laughs> Cause in the room, like where we live in our barracks, we each have our own room key. No one else can get in. But there's a master room key that's that does everything staff duty has. Yeah. The scariest thing is to wake up and go. Um, and just seeing your NCO hovering over you like this, your room is trashed. Oh, they trash it while like, you're asleep. I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then they and then they wake you up and go like, <laughs> "Hey, you know that little piece of paper that can essentially f the rest of your life after you get out?" What paper is that? Article 15. Oh, uh, in the newspaper. <laughs> God damn it! In the newspaper. What is it? What is Article 15? <laughs> Tell me. Article Article 15 is a piece of paper that you get um, if you royally f up, and if you get so many of those, then you can get. Dis dishonorably discharged out of the military. Oh, now this is just easy. Military funny moments, Josh. Just, just a laugh and react. Yes, Ready? laugh and have fun and play amongst, amongst the flowers. Leia, look at him go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, what the? T-Rexes. 
<laughs> Peace in a jet. There you go. This was literally us with Red Bull. Oh my God, people are having a lot of fun in these jets. Oh, yeah. Just but a the duck. The guy's a duck. M mopping in the rain, brother. I've done that multiple times. Getting tased. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Let's go. Launch it out, brother. Hell yeah. Gotta call in those planes, Bren. Let's do it. Dude, I'm telling you, the people who call in planes are have, have like the most fun job. That was awesome. Why don't they show those sort of military videos when you're, they're trying to get young right? kids to join the military? That makes it That's seem like saying. it's like a big rom-com with like Cameron Diaz and Ben Stiller. Yeah. Everyone's like dancing yeah, like and like doing silly faces and stuff. Everyone was like, hooray, like jumping in snow. Like, come on. They got me some other way though. They showed me some like special forces driving a go-kart with a 50 cal on the back through the desert and like that is what special operations cool guy shit it's and then he looked at me and was like you want to be batman bullshit the guy literally was like you want to be batman and i said yeah oh my god they <laughs> and he was like they read you like a no, book dude <laughs> holy crap there's no wonder you joined they the military did. man <laughs> they did he was like, I've got the perfect job for you, bro. You can be sneaky. You get to get up like real close to people, gather intelligence and, and, and just beat the shit out of them. If they're, you know, getting firefights, it would be awesome. Like Batman. And I'm like, hell yeah. Did you do any of those things? No, I unloaded Con X's. And you were more like Batman's butler. Yeah, I was like Alfred, essentially. He's still cool, though. Yeah, he's, Alfred's very cool. You kidding me? Alfred's very cool. Yeah. If so if the guy looked at you now, and said, you want to be Alfred? You'd join again, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be Alfred? You're damn right. My man My man took on Superman and won. Yeah. Hashtag go Alfred. POV. You're in the military. What's up? How you doing? Can't complain, Sergeant. How you doing? Ooh. Can't complain either. I'm pumping this exercise. How about you? Can't say I feel the same way. Why is that? Because I'm tired. I'm just ready for it to be over with. It should be starting sooner, right? What time does it start? 10 hundred. You said what, sir? It starts at 10. Yup. It's 0, 0400. How you know what time it is? You don't even have a watch on. I don't need to have a watch. The report time was 0, 0400. Why are you being so sassy? Why am I being sad? Why do we always report in early like this? We reported six hours early. Thank you. Six hours? I could have been asleep. I, I could have been asleep. I could have been asleep too. But we I did, here. but I, why, why are we here so early? I forgot to, to eat. I woke up late and I forgot to brush my teeth. Yup. That's what that smell is? Yeah, 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 that's what that, it's poop. It's poop, Bobby, that's what that smell is. Whoa, yuck mouth. It's Sergeant B. It's Bobby. For this early report time, you don't get no respect. It's Bobby. You're talking out your neck. Do you have a shaving profile? Do I have a, do you have a shaving profile? <laughs> this is not about me. Yes, it is. It's about everybody. Well, if it's about everybody, how come you're the only person out of everybody that has a helmet on? You said, you said bring a helmet. You Nobody said, else has a helmet on. Nobody said bring a oh, helmet. Oh, you said in the chop. Wear You're a the helmet. only person that has a helmet on. Why didn't you see that when you got out the car and saw everybody else wearing a PC? I, I thought they ain't feel like wearing a helmet yet. No. You're the only person wearing a helmet. You must be more pumped for this exercise mm -mm. than me. I so I'm, I'm going to let you run it. You well, can run I'm, it. I can run it. You no. can run the formation. All right, well, we, can we start right now? We're starting at 10. Oh, God, bro. So we just, we just sitting? We yep. just chilling we until 10. Hurry up and wait. Mother. Dude, hurry is, is up that accurate? and wait. D dude. Yes. What do they do? They get Short you out of 4 a.m. You just stand around for six hours. Yes. Oh, yeah. Like, they would God. be like, hey, listen, we are leaving for the field at, like, noon. That's awesome. So what? You want us to show up at, like, 10? Just draw weapons out of the arms room and then put it on the truck? We can do that in an hour. Mm. And they're like, be here at 04. Really? For who? For who? Are they like just training you to like get used to waiting and stuff? Essentially, the only reason, this is the only reason that they told me, Josh, was that because they want us super early, have everything ready on the trucks super early, 
so that they can look good for the person that is one rank higher than them. Uh, and then the staff sergeant go tells the sergeant first class, hey, we're ready. Sergeant first class tells first sergeant, hey, we're ready. And just goes up the chain until eventually the president the captain shows up right. at 1138 and goes, yeah, it looks pretty good, guys. Good job. Good job. I guess we go to the field now. All uh, right. It just seems like basically systematic bullying. Oh, I do it 100 percent. So if you're in high school and you're getting bullied and you're not having a great time, you can continue that. Yeah. All the way to the military. <laughs> so Josh, I know it's been a long time. Remember the Air Force is the like amazing place. This is where people go and they use their minds. Ah, uh, smart not boys. Their bodies. Yeah. Yeah, smart smart boys and they get all the cool things. Check this out. Okay. Wow. This place is gorgeous. Yeah. Hi there. Welcome to BMT Basic <sighs> Military Training. How are you, buddy? I'm fantastic. I'm a little hungry though. Oh, absolutely. I know it's been a long day traveling for you, man. So listen, if you go down that way to the left, you're gonna have a steak and seafood house, all you can eat. There's also a cookie crumble and a Starbucks there too. But once you get to the end, if you look down there, that's where you're gonna be sleeping at. That's your room. That's all Is this how the military there? sees absolutely, the, the Air Force? We are here for you, yeah. right? Listen, the Air Force spares no expense, all right? So listen, when you get to your room, if you want room service, they will bring you food. Yep. Okay? And each room has their own individual masseuse. So anytime you need a massage, just let them know they'll be there to take care of you, all right? Say less. It's basically like Top Gun, yeah. Do you want to join the military, work your own hours, ride a cool motorbike with no helmet, and take a blonde, sexy lady for rides in the Hell Miami yeah. sunset? Then join the Air Force. Yeah. Tom Cruise will be your bitch. <laughs> Honestly, that was perfect. Yeah. Put 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 a like if you put that voice clip over a promo, sold half America gone. So just a caveat on that, Josh. Essentially, uh, to further my point, you know when we go out in the woods and train for weeks on end, if the Air Force decides to join us in that training, are they used to a higher standard of living or something? Oh no, they they still come out and train with us, but they have buildings with AC and heat and Wi-Fi and I got to see them, it's a real thing. And when they train with us in the woods, just for being in the woods, they get hazard pay. Really? That's really interesting. Meanwhile, I'm digging a hole in the dirt and calling it my bed. So yeah, Josh, that's, that's you know, thank you for coming back into my world of uh, essentially, you know, me venting at you for about 50 minutes. I don't know how to like feel about it. Some parts of the military is like, wow, you get to hang out with your friends. It'd be cool. And some of us yeah. like, wow, this is literally the worst thing that you could ever go through. A hundred percent. I got to say, I am not an overly disciplined person. I struggle with most aspects of life, mm. even simple things like eating and sleeping. I'm pretty bad at most of that stuff. Same. Uh, and I think the military would chew me up and spit me out. I would think I would can die there. You never know. But you know what? Now look at you. You're beautiful. You're successful. You got a kick-ass garage. That's my like crowning achievement. I have a kick-ass garage. That's your crap. You have a kick-ass garage. I have a cool hey, garage. Throw up a picture of Josh's kick-ass garage. Uh, there you go. Wow, that is a cool garage. That is a cool. And garage. I didn't have I to. Am, I'm pretty jealous of that garage. Kind of went. Uh, well, to be fair, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep when I was working to get that garage, so it kind of went through the military well, my I mean, way. I just I got abused yeah. instead of sergeants. It was millions and millions of preteen children leaving comments <laughs> telling me how pathetic and stupid <laughs> I am. So. Well, you know what. Just think how poor they are. I always do. <laughs> Constantly. Every time I see a little kid out, I'm like, man, I bet that kid has a very low net worth. I dressed myself today. Yeah. But you didn't. What? Both both legs at a time. Yeah. I jump into that shit. Like inspect the gadget in the <laughs> mornings. Yeah. Go, go, gadget successful. Go, go, gadget. Look at my garage. You can't even drive, you little preteen piece of shit. Oh, oh. You can join the military because you think it's the right thing to do. Don't you? Hell yeah. <laughs> Mind you, by the time they're old enough to join the military, they probably will have all the nice things. Yeah, probably. Okay. Well, thanks for having me on. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching today's video. Uh, if you like it and like the series and uh, want me to keep going, please let me know with a like and comment down below. That'd be great. Do those things. Josh, thank you so much for coming out. And uh, any final words? Yes. Don't join the military. Become a YouTuber. <gasps> you insulted the government. <laughs>